What it is, I'm Reese Waters. I think it's time to sanctify March Madness officially. It's that time of year when Americans pretend to care about their alma mater and stop pretending to care about their jobs. Last year alone, an estimated $1.9 billion in wages was lost due to distracted and unproductive workers. And that doesn't even count Rick Pitino's Louisville team. But the problem here isn't that people aren't working enough, it's that they're expected to work at all. The single most exciting and unpredictable sporting event of the year is an arm's length away and you expect me to balance spreadsheets? I'm not Joe Lenardi. I only play him on the internet. I'm one of the 119 million Americans who will devote at least part of their workday to updating brackets. That's 86% of the workforce and almost twice the number of people who show up to attack The Bachelor every year on Women Tell All. We shouldn't have to feel guilty about what makes us feel so good. Trademark Josh Gordon. So let's stop this charade and make the first two days of March Madness a national holiday. If you think our holidays are too sacred to change, you're probably 90 and we can wait you out. But when was the last time anybody skipped out of work to watch the Columbus Day Parade? The closest we get to celebrating President's Day is binge watching House of Cards while we veto phone calls, texts, and any kind of pants. It doesn't matter what your actual religion is. If you're one of the 60 million people who fill out brackets, March Madness is Christmas.